This is the HF96V thermal camera from HSF Tools. First off, great packaging here. You can see it's well packaged, well secured, and uh, this actually gives you a nice place to keep it when you're not using it. All right, so here is the thermal camera itself. Nice ergonomic design. You can see it handheld, trigger right here, and you get the screen right on the back with only a few buttons here. So it makes it very simple to use. Uh, it looks great and it's nice and lightweight. They even give you this wrist strap so you don't drop it. They also send a little thank you card, a calibration certificate, and the user manual, as well as a USB cable to hook this up to your uh, tablet or PC, whatever you want to connect it to, to transfer videos and images onto it to look at it. So I just read through the manual, took about five minutes. So it's actually pretty easy and uh, it's easy to navigate despite the fact it has a lot of features, which is really great. So uh, to start off, it just has a power button here. You'll turn it on and then you select your language. And there you can see the thermal camera working. And this model here has three different camera settings. You'll see on the front here, there is a laser pointer. Let me see if I can get that to show for you guys. Yeah, so when you pull the trigger, it shoots that laser. So you can use that to direct it at something specific. Uh, so you know you're shooting right, you know, you know what you're looking at. Uh, you can also turn that laser pointer off in the settings if you don't want that. Uh, the trigger here, when you click it, does take a snapshot of what you're looking at, which also records all the data, which you can see there. I'll show you some of these pictures here. It records the temperatures, things like that. These other ones here, one's your thermal camera and one's a regular camera. On this model here, you can click up through and you're gonna see it has uh, a, the regular camera view. So that's the thermal only view. And then this would be the thermal and camera combined, gives you a little more detail. If you click down on this arrow here, you can go through some of the color options. If you wanna use a different color palette for the thermal camera, whatever uh, suits you best. And then uh, over here, this is just your back button. This power button also works as like a menu and select button. And this thing does have a lot of settings on it, but they make it really easy to use. You just click on this to go into your menu. You can change the emissivity. They have some preset ones in here, depending what uh, type of material you're looking at. There's also a guide in the manual to help you choose that. Uh, you can choose your distance, whether you're shooting something pretty far away or up close. And there was display settings. You can go through some of the parameters, things that'll show up on screen. If you want that, change your units, date and time, your image settings, you can turn super resolution on and off, change your palette, change the level and span. I have that set to auto right now. Uh, set an alarm. So if you go over a certain temperature, you'll hear an alarm. So that's a nice feature. You can auto or you can set the temperature range and uh, change your capture mode, whether you want to schedule the capture or capture one image. I should point out this does have a uh, screw here which you can connect this to a tripod if you wish to do that and then in more settings here there's just some other like power off auto sleep uh, saving the logs formatting your storage restarting the device changing the language all that fun stuff so let's look at some images here if we look around the room here you can see so it's auto adjusting the temperature up here there's the light obviously that's throwing some heat if we look over towards this exterior door. Some LEDs hanging above it. You can see the heat coming in from outside there. Down here I have my pet rabbit on the floor there. You can see Roger the rabbit throwing a little heat there as well. So it's obviously working really well. If I look out in my kitchen, you see that nice bright light way out there. That is my coffee pot. So obviously it's picking up all that heat. That's a good 20 feet away. We walk over here to that. Oh yeah, that thing is hot. So obviously there's a lot of different uses for this from HVAC to mechanics, uh, electricians, maybe just something fun to have around the house, find leaks in your insulation. Uh, I know my cousin said he wanted to borrow it to find bees in the wall. If you have maybe a wasp nest and you're not sure where it's located, you can shoot your wall, find that warm spot from the hive. Tons of uses for this and it works great. The picture's great. It has a huge range of temperatures, lots of settings you can go through and fine tune it for what you're doing. And I should point out this cable here. You can use this to connect this to your PC, live stream it through the program they provide, which is great. 
and uh, you can get those images up on your computer in live. This also works as your charger, plugs in right here on the top, and it has an eight hour battery life. If it's fully charged, eight hours of continuous use like this. So this is something you can charge, use it all day. It's gonna work great. Uh, yeah, I'm just really impressed with how well designed this is, how well it works. It's a really great product. If you're looking for a thermal camera, this one here is a really great option.